Ernest Rutherford. Ernest Rutherford is a British physicist who became known as the father of nuclear physics. In Cambridge, Rutherford started to work with J.J. Thompson on the conductive effects of X-ray on gases, which led to the discovery of the electron, which Thompson presented to the world in 1897. Hearing of the element uranium, Rutherford started researching radioactivity and found the two types of radiation. Alpha and Beta, and later Gamma Rays. From 1900 to 1903, he was joined by the young chemist Frederick Soddy. Rutherford and Soddy demonstrated that radioactivity involves a spontaneous disintegration of atoms into other types of atoms. In Manchester, he continued to work with Alpha Radiation. Rutherford performed his most famous work after receiving the Nobel Prize in 1908, along with Hans Geiger and Ernest Marsden in 1909. He carried out the Geiger-Marsden experiment, which demonstrated the nuclear nature of atoms by deflecting alpha particles passing through a thin gold foil. Experiments done in Rutherford's laboratory showed that when alpha particles are fired into gas atoms, a few are violently deflected, which implies a dense, positively charged central region containing most of the atomic mass. This was the well-known gold foil experiment, in which it was observed that one particle in about 8,000 bounced off a thin foil of gold rather than passing through it. This surprised everyone, and as Rutherford stated, it was about as credible as if you had fired a 15-inch shell at a piece of tissue paper and it came back and hit you. Although the new model explained the experimental results, it was not compatible with classical physics. If the electrons orbited the nucleus like planets orbit the sun, they would slow down and collapse into the centre. In 1912, the Danish physicist Niels Bohr arrived in England to work with Rutherford and he applied the quantum theory to the model. According to this theory, electrons could only gain or lose electrons in fixed amounts called quanta. So long as an electron did not change its orbit, it would never collapse into the nucleus.